This conference will now be recorded. He's like, what are your thoughts on Grateful Dead? And I, I don't, obviously don't know who Grateful Dead is. What are your thoughts? Do you like Grateful Dead? Grateful Dead? Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. I love this place with the, it kind of goes with the bluegrass crowd. Yes. A lot of bluegrass crowd would be. See, I told you there was his name, Dead Heads. I told yeah. you. Yes. Yes. Cute. Okay. Um, and recording. Yes. Yeah, I'm definitely going to. So uh, if there's something that you uh, that you you know don't want to hear about, you want to know more about, feel free to chime in. Um, I am recording this this presentation. Um, so I guess we'll just kind of start. Uh, good evening. Thank you for coming to our public information session. I'm Brandon Mills, the assistant city administrator and city clerk. Uh, Mike Brungart is in the room, who is our city administrator and city engineer. Whitney Lang is over here, who's our communications director, um, and we have Mayor Walker in the room as well. Um, we're here to discuss the three quarter cent sales tax renewal election that will take place in the next couple of weeks. Oh, does this wanna work? Hold on. There we go. So uh, there are three, the three most important pieces of information to take away from this presentation are uh, this is a renewal of a three quarter cent sales tax for capital projects. Uh, it's not an increase or decrease. Um, it's restricted to streets, sidewalks, water and sewer projects and, drain and drainage projects. And the mail-in ballots are due on June 21st. This is just a roadmap of the topics we'll discuss. So we'll start off with the details of the sales tax. Uh, we'll touch on the history and go over a comparison We'll go over some city financials um, and review past and future projects and then give you a little voter information. And finally, we'll wrap up with the takeaways and then I'll stand for any questions. So the city of DeSoto, like many cities in the state, has a 1% uh, general all-purpose sales tax and that's used uh, primarily to offset property taxes. The sales tax we're going to discuss tonight is a three quarter cent sales tax, um, which is a special purpose tax. By law, it must be renewed by voter by vote of the people every 10 years. Um, it was originally uh, voted on by the people in 2002 and then renewed and approved in 2012 at its current rate. And the sales tax we're discussing tonight was uh, will sunset in July. As we mentioned before, the sales tax is restricted for uh, bond payments for streets, sidewalks, sewers, water, and drainage projects. And in March, the council voted to call for a special election to renew the sales tax at the same, uh, for the same purpose at the same rate. Uh, and I've left a few copies out there. I think you've grabbed them, um, which has the resolution and a few other pieces of information we'll touch on as we go further through the presentation. So why sales tax? Um, why are we using this to fund these kind of projects? It ensures that anyone uh, using our infrastructure has to pay for it. Um, so sales tax is paid by anyone uh, making a purchase in DeSoto. So for example, when a construction worker is driving down city roads to purchase lunch or snack, they help pay for the roads they drive on and the water and wastewater used to prepare for the food that they purchase. Um, additionally, it avoids large spikes in fees and taxes as our infrastructure ages because the sales tax helps pay for large projects that the city would bond. Finally, it allows the city to reduce the mill levy and reduce the burden on property tax owners. Uh, we have a property tax explainer as a handout. Um, that explainer will also be posted on the city website. Uh, the state of Kansas, Johnson County, and the city of DeSoto all collect sales tax. As of today, this slide shows the percentages of the combined rate. 6.5% for the state of Kansas, 1.47% for Johnson County, and 1.75% for DeSoto. This slide explains how DeSoto sales tax compares with other smaller communities in the Kansas City metro area, roughly 10,000, roughly 5,000 to 10,000 in population, 
in Johnson, Leavenworth, Wyandotte, Douglas, and Miami counties. Uh, the cities that were selected were based on population and monthly uh, sales tax collections. Uh, the line was drawn at 50,000 monthly to uh, $300,000 monthly. Um, and as you, see, as you can see, DeSoto is in line with communities of similar size in the metro. Uh, this slide explains how DeSoto property taxes compared with the same communities in the last slide. Each city and county has its own mixture of property taxes and sales taxes. There's not a one size fits all approach that would go for each city. Um, so as you can see from the previous slide, you'll see that communities that have uh, lower sales tax may have higher property taxes or vice versa. So what does the sales tax support? Uh, the three-quarter cent sales tax is used to uh, maintain our 120 uh, lane miles of roads, our 44 miles of water mains, and our 20 miles of sewer mains. This slide uh, puts sales tax in dollars and cents. It shows the actual amount someone would pay in sales tax in DeSoto. So we picked kind of a few um, everyday items such as pizza, milk, and shoes. Uh, so for example, on a $17 pizza, uh, you pay 13 cents to help provide safe infrastructure for residents and visitors alike. As I said before, the sales tax was in place since 2002. Uh, the next section will touch on a few projects that the sales tax has helped funded and we'll go over a couple of upcoming projects. So uh, this slide uh, goes over a few notable projects that were funded with the sales tax. Uh, the photo is uh, the 91st Street uh, extension to Sunflower Road. Um, and other projects that would that would be included under this would be um, the expansion of the water treatment plant of the water treatment expansion, and then uh, sidewalks along 83rd Street in Lexington Road. The next slide is of current and future projects. Uh, this picture shows the current drainage projects being constructed at uh, on Miller Park. And then there's a couple other ones that are listed here on the slide as well. So our next step is to go over the financial impact of the sales tax. Uh, this uh, slide in this pie chart goes over the debt service fund revenues. As you can see, the three quarter cent sales tax is placed in the debt service fund. Uh, the purpose of the fund is to pay for bond payments. So as you see, uh, the sales tax is the largest, is the second largest revenue source in the fund, the largest being transfers from other funds. Um, an example would be a transfer from the water fund uh, to the debt service fund to pay for bonds for water related projects. If the voters choose not to renew the sales tax, the sales tax would go away and other revenue sources would be, uh, would be forced to make up the difference. So some alternative uh, revenue sources, if the sales tax is defeated, um, a combination of the listed items um, would be contemplated by city council and staff. They include a reduction in services, deferred maintenance, um, property tax increases, water and sewer rate increase, as well as others. There are three photos in this voter information uh, slide. The first is the envelope that you'll receive from Johnson County in early June. Uh, all registered voters will automatically receive, uh, receive a ballot in DeSoto. Um, the second is the sample ballot, which I left out um, on the table and is currently posted online. Um, it's a one question ballot. A, vote, a yes vote would be to renew the, renew the sales tax for 10 additional years. A no vote would end the sales tax in June of 2022. And the third is the return envelope. Um, you would place your ballot in the blue envelope, follow the directions. Do not forget to sign the envelope. That's very important. Um, and place it in the mail, or there's a ballot box at the Johnson County Library um, here in DeSoto. Uh, again, these are the three most important pieces of information to take away from, from the presentation. Again, it's a renewal of a three quarter cent sales tax for capital projects. It's not an increase or a decrease. Um, it is restricted for streets, water, sewer, and drainage projects. 
and the mail-in ballot is due on June 21st. We only have one person here at the time of recording. Do you have any questions? And there's no one online that I see. Any questions from the audience? Just so, because uh, I'm recording this, we'll post this online. The question was regarding um, rain gardens and could the city potentially have some kind of funding mechanism to subsidize that for homeowners? Um, it's something we could definitely look into. It's not currently in the CIP and we don't have a program, but it's something we'll, we can definitely look into. Yeah, I just noticed that there's, if you look at it, there's a list of cities in DeSoto that's not one of them. And Shawnee, I had a rain garden in there because same thing's happening at my house is I've got two houses on this side that the, the drainage comes into my yard and it goes down the side. And I put a rain garden in there, it really, really helped. You know, so. Yeah, another thing though about the rain garden is all, all the other cities in Johnson County are part of, um, they have stormwater quality requirements to yes. make to the EPA. And DeSoto was seen as rural enough the last time they made the decision on who has to do that, who doesn't. DeSoto was small enough that we didn't, we don't legally have to have stormwater quality requirements. So that's another, and, and that won't last forever. We don't know. So that's another real benefit of those programs. Yeah. Quality. Okay. Any other questions? I don't see anyone else online. I think it's just Whitney. Uh, looking for questions. So this is just a QR code to register to vote if you'd like. We only have one person in the room, but if you'd like, you could use the QR code, use your phone. Um, you recently said you moved, so you might look into it because the, the deadline to register to receive your mail-in ballot is today. Um, but if you click on that link, you could go in and register today and you'd get it. And then uh, the last thing is just contact information. So uh, if you have, um, Mike Brungar is our city administrator contact, contact information up top, and then I'm underneath. Um, feel free to email either one of us or call us if you have any questions about the sales tax election. And I think that is my last slide. It is. So that's it. All right. I'm going to end the recording. <laughs>